Hi everyone, welcome to the Laser Channel where we learn, create, and share. My name is Greg, and in today's video, I'm going to be checking out the Laser Pecker 4 by doing an unboxing assembly and then checking out some of the cool features on the machine. Thanks for joining me for another video on the Laser Channel. This is going to be the first video in a series featuring the Laser Pecker 4, which from this point on, I'm gonna to refer to as LP4 for short. I'm going to do a quick unboxing and then move on to the assembly of the machine. And then I'm going to go over some of the unique features that make the LP4 really stand out in today's competitive laser market. Well, enough talking, let's check out the box. It has a beautiful graphic across the front when we turn it to one side, a simple graphic on that side. The opposite side is going to have a nice scannable QR code for the software that runs the machine. When I flip it all the way around to the back, it has a blank back, nothing exciting going on there. And to unbox this, I'm actually going to lift this up and put it on a stool so that I can get the contents out a lot easier. And as you just saw, I strained a little bit lifting this up because not only does this box contain the LP4, there's two accessories in here. This is part of a combo deal. We're gonna check out what those two extra items are in just a second here. And everything is neatly packaged on these nice foam trays. Next piece of foam is just a nice spacer. And the next piece is going to be the first accessory that we're going to check out in an entirely separate video. This is going to be the table extension that expands the work area of the LP4. The next foam tray is going to be the most interesting and also the heaviest. This also contains the second accessory included with this kit and that is a rotary unit. And we also have the main laser head, so we're gonna be checking out that very, very shortly. And at the very bottom of the box are all the supporting equipment, cables, and fasteners for putting the machine together. This extra foam and the slide table extension, I'm gonna place this off to the side. The first tray that I pulled out includes the user manual for the LP4 the rotary unit, and the slide extension that I just placed off to the side. This tray also includes the base plate for the machine. And that next box that I pulled out contains the focusing arm or the extension boom that is going to support the laser head over the work area. And speaking of the laser head, I'm gonna pull that out next and we're gonna check out this in a little bit of detail because there's some really cool stuff going on within that laser head. So I think there's three main cool things going on with this main laser module. The first is that this is a dual layer source laser module. It has both a 10 watt laser module and a two watt infrared. So this is going to really greatly expand the materials that I can work with. When I flip this over to the top, we're going to see that there's a very nice large touchscreen LED display. When I flip this over and we check out the bottom, I'm going to remove the lens cover for the field lens. This field lens contains a smart focal correction technology, which is just a fancy way of saying that no matter where the lens or the uh, laser beam is pointing within my work area, it is always going to be perfectly in focus. And since we're checking out the bottom of the machine, I'm going to unscrew the field lens and we're going to look at the positioning mirrors underneath this lens. This is the secret of why this machine is so fast and so precise. On most conventional machines, it's the laser source that moves around with uh, that's in the laser head. Here, the laser head, the laser sources remain stationary. Those are located in the back area and the laser beams are bounced off of two mirrors and it's these small mirrors where we get all the speed and precision out of the LP4. Just a couple of last things I wanna share with you in this final box, just cause I think that they're very interesting, but I definitely wanna to get to the assembly of the machine. 
What I unpackaged is an eye-friendly guard for use with this. The other thing that we've got are accessories for the rotary tool, which also has an auxiliary wheel set. That's great to see when you've got some shapes that need that extra support. There's also a set of safety glasses when the shroud is not being used, a power adapter, and the cord that goes with it. There's also an elevation unit when using that rotary unit or that slide table extension. That can also be used just as a standalone if you need a little bit of extra height focusing the laser machine. There's also a nice plastics parts box. That's taken me a couple of times to say without stumbling. And this contains all the screws for putting the three main components of the LP4 together. And what's really nice is across the lid, it lists all the parts and tools contained within this toolkit. Off camera, I'm gonna spend a minute or two cleaning some of the clutter off of my work area. I find that a clean work surface really makes enjoyment a lot easier when putting the machine together. The other thing I'm going to do is familiarize myself with a user manual on the assembly of the LP4. I took a sneak peek at the manual and the instructions are very clear and concise for the few parts that I do need to assemble. I checked out the assembly manual. We just saw that page on the screen just a second ago. Turns out there's only four screws that I need to attach this focusing boom down to the base plate. And then when I'm ready to attach the laser module to this focusing boom, there's only one screw on the bottom. When I check out the bottom of the focusing boom, I see that there is a raised surface and this raised surface coincides with a recessed surface on the base plate. This helps that boom get perfectly aligned to the base plate. When I flip everything up on end, we're gonna see that the four screws are also these flat head screws that are also self aligning. So that's a two way self aligning system between that recessed bottom of the focusing boom and these flat head screws. Wow, that was pretty quick and easy. Four screws and one thumb screw and the machine is put together. Next, I'm gonna do the electrical connections. The really cool thing about the electrical connections is that they're all USB cables. These are just standard regular USB cables that don't have any fancy or proprietary ends. This, I absolutely love that laser pecker added this feature to the machine. The main laser head is also the power distribution for the rest of the machine. And those ports are all clearly labeled. These power distribution centers powers the motorized focusing boom, and then the two accessories of the rotary tool and the slide extension. On the focusing boom, there's a USB connector at the bottom. And I'll plug the cable in and then plug the other end in up at the top. There's a fan or exhaust fan on this laser shroud, and this plugs into the other port. That's all the connections I need to do other than plugging in the main power supply. The one port that would be left over is the USB connection up to a computer. One of the things I like to have on my machines is a clean cable layout and the LP4 has me in mind with this clip on the side of the focusing boom. This way I can neatly and cleanly clean up all the cables going up to the main laser head. The work area comes in at 120 by 160 millimeters and with the slide extension this expands to 160 by 300 millimeters. As mentioned the cable connections are all USB. I love that there's no special cables. The dual source laser head allows me to easily switch between laser types so I spend more time creating and virtually no time switching the machine over. It's simply a push of a button to go between laser diode and infrared. The LP4 also comes with a nice laser bed with multiple attachment points. The laser bed of the LP4 is also removable, allowing the LP4 to be placed on larger pieces of work to get that perfect engraving. My initial impression of the LP4 is it's very well made. The entire framework is entirely made out of metal and the finish work on that metal is absolutely beautiful. 
This first video is just a part of a series on the LP4. In the next video where I'm working with the software, I'm going to be doing a variety of projects utilizing both the laser diode module and the infrared module. I'm gonna be doing a number of those projects on a variety of different materials, and I hope that you'll join me for that. If you enjoyed the content, I hope that you'll drop this video a like, subscribe to the channel, and ring that notification bell. That way, you'll also know when a next video comes out in the series for the Laser Pecker 4. Well, until we meet again in the next video, learn, create, and share.